determined to ensure law and order prevails and also extract violent lawbreakers from St. Lucia's communities, the Philip J. led administration has strengthened the Firearms Act. On July 26, the Firearms Amendment Act was debated and went through its final stages and subsequently passed in the lower house of parliament. During the July 26 debate in the lower house, Honorable Pierre, who is also the Minister for National Security, ardently implored the public and the island's youth in particular to stay away from illegal gun activities. This scourge of shootings that happen in this country, we hope it can come to an end. But as I said, this is just one of, of, of the measures, Mr. Speaker, that we are taking to try to, to curb this menace, Mr. Speaker. It's not, it's not pleasant for us to, have to stand here and to have to pass that legislation, life in, um, ex, in, in, where people can be sent to prison for life, for some, some offenses. It's not pleasant, Mr. Speaker. But I want to warn, particularly the young people of St. Lucia, who may be tempted to carry guns for somebody, to go on a business, to carry a thing there, do not allow people to use you for their own vanity. When you are caught in the firearm, the boss man is not the one who will pay for it. Do not allow anybody to give you anything to carry for them. Don't allow it, because you are the one who's going to be in trouble. You are the one who's going to languish in jail because of the increased penalties, Mr. Speaker. There is a better way. The legislation also proposes to enhance the deliberation process for the issuance of firearms licenses with the establishment of a board that automatically includes the Commissioner of Police. The clause 5 of, of, the, of the bill, Mr. Speaker, we are creating a firearm licensing board, the board. Presently, Mr. Speaker, firearm licenses are given solely by the Commissioner of Police. This new act, as is the case in most other countries of the region, Mr. Speaker, there is a firearm license can only be given by a board which comprises the Commissioner of, of Police, Mr. Speaker, the Permanent Secretary, the Ministry of Response for National Security, and three persons dominated by the Minister approved by the Cabinet, who are of high integrity and able to exercise good judgment in fulfilling the functions under this Act, Mr. Speaker. And Mr. Speaker, I propose that the, the Chairman of the Board be the Commissioner of Police, Mr. Speaker. So we are, we, we are the Commissioner of Police to chair the Board, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, this means that the firearm license, a firearm license, there'll be a, a, a broader sec section. More people are going to be involved in the issue of, of firearm licenses. It would not be the sole discretion of the Commissioner of Police, Mr. Speaker. As, as I said, it's not new, not new to St. Lucia. This happens in most other countries of the region where a firearm license is given by a board, Mr. Speaker. So the application process will be the same, but the issuance of the license will be done after a board meets to issue the license. Historically, the last five years have been the bloodiest in recent memory. At least 75 homicides were recorded in 2021 alone, the most in a calendar year. And between 2017 and 2020, police registered more than 200 murders. The common denominator apparent in more than 70% of the island's confirmed homicides have been guns. The Firearms Amendment Act makes provisions for more stringent penalties for criminal convictions on illegal gun and ammunition possessions. Penalties for unlicensed firearm possession range 
from a minimum $30,000 fine and up to 10 years in prison or both. For indictable firearm offenses, a defendant can face up to 25 years behind bars upon conviction. From the Office of the Prime Minister, Rihani Isidore.